Hey guys, and oh, welcome to today's video. So it's coming to the end of 2021, and one of the questions we always get asked is, which cloud gaming service should you be using? Which one's the best one? And obviously that answer is gonna be very difficult to hit, but we're gonna do our best to answer a couple of points in this video. So to start off, if you are into cloud gaming, you have obviously the flexibility to switch between them or use multiple ones at the same time, and that's probably the best way to approach cloud gaming. None of them really kind of hit all the boxes, and as you'll find out as we go through this little video, some of them are better than others at certain areas, and others are better in other areas. So let's get on with this video, talk to you about some of the areas that really stand out for certain cloud gaming platforms, and which one maybe you might want to consider. So I'm just going to be doing this off the bat. Liam has thrown down a couple of sort of headings that I need to kind of cover and decide which one ticks the boxes in each of those headings. So let's start off with, so user interface. Now I'm going to say with this one, it's a bit of a difficult one, but I would say Stadia takes the cake with it. It is probably the smoothest. It looks the best in terms of just navigating around, finding your way through different menus. In terms of the store and stuff like that, or finding out what game you want to play, it gives you all of the information, a trailer, some screenshots, and just everything you kind of need to know before launching a game. xCloud comes in a nice second. It looks good. It's easy to navigate. Finding the game that you want to play is really easy to do. It's got a decent description of the game, but I always find, especially on the mobile phone versions of it, it doesn't really show you too much. You don't really get to see any screenshots. It just shows you the cover art for the game. It doesn't show you anything more, and I wish there was just a little bit more, because sometimes I have no idea what type of game I might be playing. I would say that NVIDIA GeForce Now probably comes in last. Now it's not a bad user interface and to be fair the launcher actually looks really good. Navigating it is really easy. Finding good games that you want to play and everything else like that is really easy. But because of the way that it works where it connects to your library on things like Epic Games or Steam, once you start doing that there's all sorts of little user interface issues that frustrate me every time I use it. Like constantly getting logged out of Steam and having to re-log back in and then use my Steam Authenticator. And yeah, just stuff like that really frustrates me and I wish they'd nail it it down. Also buying games on it if you are somebody who's a bit of a novice and just wants to be able to play some cloud gaming and buy your games, it's not always particularly straightforward on how to. On things like xCloud also you get your games included in the library, on Stadia it's really easy to buy things from the store, but on the Nvidia GeForce now you then need to navigate away to a different storefront and it's just a bit of a mess. So in that respect their launcher looks fantastic, but the rest of it is just really frustrating at a moment from a user interface perspective. So for that one, Stadia takes the win, but only just with xCloud coming in a very close second. So moving on to the next one, what have we got? So stream quality. Now this one is really, really, really difficult to nail down because ultimately stream quality will depend on so many variables. For us, for example, xCloud up until very recently over the last couple of months was absolutely abysmal and barely worked. However, now it works pretty much perfectly. However, we always find that people in the comments talk about xCloud not working or it's always worked perfectly. And the same goes for things like GeForce Now and Google Stadia. I will say that the most consistent experience that we've had in terms of quality has been Google Stadia. They do some pretty damned good magic on the back end of making it run and just run smoothly. We never really get any issues with Stadia. xCloud can be really hit and miss when it's working, it looks fantastic. And GeForce Now looks really, really, really good when it works. xCloud, I would say, comes in third just because it is the most inconsistent streaming quality experience that we've had. And when it does work well when you play it on the biggest screen, so on something like a gaming monitor, it definitely looks the worst out of the lot. There's a lot of sort of artifacts and just a lot of noise and blurriness when it comes to that streaming quality. So I'd say that xCloud comes in last. However, bear in mind it is still in beta, so there's lots of things that could be improved. But we're talking about how each of these performs at the end of 2021, so that's how it is. Okay, so moving across onto the next one, and we have value. Now, value is going to mean so many different things for so many different people, and ultimately, I would say probably the best value, if you didn't have a games library already, you were just brand new into this, and you've looked, and you've gone, right, I either want to get a console or a gaming PC, or I'm going to do cloud gaming, and I'm going to go all in for that. I would say the best value for money, if that's your scenario at the moment, and you're new to gaming, pretty much, xCloud is the best value because ultimately you get such a massive library included with that. And it's not just a bunch of old and indie games. There are some brand new things that are hitting the shelves on this. Pretty much all your day one releases for Xbox and Microsoft are landing on xCloud at the same time. Things like Halo Infinite is going to be landing 
on day one when it comes to xCloud. So you get a, a massive amount of value with this. If you're also playing on PC and you have an Xbox, the value is just kind of unbeatable because you get to play all of those games on your console or your PC as well. So in that respect, xCloud absolutely takes the win. However, I would say that again, if you are an old historic, I guess PC gamer or you need something for this stop gap, then GeForce Now might be the one that takes the lead because you might already have a lot of those games. And by paying that subscription, you can get access to play on your phone, your tablet, or just get improved graphics over what you may have on a PC. So if you have a library already that's also supported by NVIDIA GeForce Now, then that one might take the win. The Stadia sits in this kind of odd place. It's a really good value for money in my opinion, but I would say compared to the others, it's not quite as good value for money. You do get the pro games as part of your pro subscription. They can be really good. Sometimes they can be relatively just meh and I'm not particularly bothered by them. And I've got to say over the last few months, I've been far less excited about the games on Stadia Pro subscription than I have on something like xCloud. So from my perspective and my use case, I would say that Stadia just kind of sits in this kind of middle ground. You get really good value for money because you get such good streaming quality, but at the moment, the bits that come with it just aren't doing it for me as much. However, where Stadia does take the lead is ultimately in that subscription, you get your 4K streaming. So if you do have a 4K compatible device, it is far better value for money. So when you compare it to something like xCloud, for example, which is a little bit more expensive and you only get 1080 quality, then Stadia takes the lead. And then if you compare it to something like Nvidia's GeForce Now 3080, that becomes a lot more expensive. So you know what, the swings and roundabouts really with all of those when it comes to value. I will say, if I'm just gonna look at it from an outside perspective, new to cloud gaming, I would say xCloud takes the lead on this one. So next one, we have library size. Now this one is really debatable and ultimately the reason why if you are getting into cloud gaming, you probably wanna dip in and out of multiple cloud gaming services. Things like Stadia, for example, always gets criticized when it comes to its library size. It's not got a bad library size, but a lot of the newer games don't necessarily land on Stadia or at least day one. However, some do, so that is worthwhile bearing in mind. Your best thing when it comes to library size is to have a look and see what is gonna be available and the games that you wanna play with your friends and just find out which platform has those. xCloud is pretty fantastic when it comes to this. You get an absolutely massive library of games. You've got all things like your Bethesda titles, anything that's been made by Microsoft is now going across onto xCloud and it just has such a good library size. GeForce Now is very much dependent on what you're currently buying. So if you've got a library of games already, that it's constantly expanding and there's some really good games that are landing on GeForce now that you can pick up on things like Steam and then play them that way. And Stadia isn't all left behind in the dust. We do still see a lot of new games landing on that. And if you are into your Ubisoft titles, then Stadia is maybe the way to go. I would say this one is a draw. I'm gonna call it a draw between xCloud and GeForce Now, again, depending on your history in terms of what library you've got, but they've both got a fantastic library of games. Stadia isn't bad, but at the end of the day, you wanna double check and see if the games that you wanna play are gonna be available on Stadia. So moving across onto the next one, we have compatibility. Now this one's an interesting one. So this is about, I guess, compatibility on what it works on like a TV, tablet, mobile phone, and everything else. I'm gonna call this one a draw with Google Stadia and Nvidia GeForce Now, purely because they work pretty much across all different devices. If you have an Android TV device, you can be able to play on stuff like Nvidia GeForce Now, you're gonna be able to play on Stadia as well. Up until a couple of months back, you couldn't use Stadia on anything apart from like old outdated hardware when it came to Android TV and stuff like that, for example. However, now you can and it's been rolled out across everything. NVIDIA GeForce Now is pretty much the same. You can play them in a browser, you can play them on a PC, you can play them on an old laptop. Basically, anything that has an internet connection in a browser, you can pretty much play NVIDIA GeForce Now and Google Stadia on it. xCloud is a very different story at the moment. In fact, obviously, you can play it on an Xbox console and older Xbox consoles are now starting to get it rolled out, which is a massive win. You can play it on a PC and you can play it through a browser mobile phones, tablets as well, but getting it onto the big screen TV is harder. So unless you have an Xbox, which you probably do if you're looking at this service, but unless you do have that, it's gonna be harder to get it onto the big screen TV. They are rolling out like streaming sticks and they're gonna be bringing out the software for other devices in the future, but that's not here yet. Again, we're talking at the bang end of 2021. So I'd say that xCloud falls into last position with GeForce Now and Stadia drawing on that one. So compatibility, you can't go too far wrong with it. GeForce Now or Stadia. Okay, so last one on the list, additional features. And now this one, I, 
it's an interesting one because they don't particularly have that many additional features at the end of the day. They're there for cloud gaming and literally that is it. I'm going to give the winter stager on this one because actually when you look at it as a platform with lots of features and stuff like that, it has a lot built into it. So obviously you can add all your friends on it. You can take your screenshots, your video clips, and you can upload them onto Google Stadia as well. And one of the big wins for something like Google Stadia is the direct streaming to YouTube. So if you are a game streamer and you want to capture all your footage, you can stream, I believe it's now in 4K directly to YouTube, which is a massive, massive win. So when it comes to like those little additional features and stuff like that, Google have been doing a really, really good job over the last couple of months and really expanding that. So I'm going to call it a win for Google Stadia. Both xCloud and GeForce now don't have a massive amount of additional features. There's nothing that stands out to me and makes you think, oh, actually, it's not just gaming. I'm also going to get all these additional bits as like part of an ecosystem, whereas Google's done a pretty good job of that. So to sum up, there is no clear winner at the end of the day. There's not going to be a clear winner with these things. You choose what platform is going to work for you. If historically you've been a PC gamer, then GeForce Now is probably going to be the one you want to look at because you probably have a relatively large library. If you've always been on Xbox or you own an Xbox already, the next cloud then starts to take the win. And if you're just getting into cloud gaming and you want something that's really smooth or just, I guess, something that allows you to be able to play wherever you want, then Stadia starts to really come into that. So at the end of the day, you choose the one that works for you. And there's no harm in switching between different platforms or having multiple at the same time. Now, if I had to make the really difficult decision of only using one cloud gaming service and I couldn't use any other. I think at the moment, at the end of 2021, I would go with Microsoft X Cloud. I absolutely adore Stadia. It just works so smoothly. But the games library at the moment and the offerings and the value for money that I've been getting from xCloud is just really, really hard to argue with. I've been playing most of my cloud gaming currently on xCloud just because there's so many new titles that keep coming across that make me think I, I want to play that. Whereas things like Stadia, not so much. And I haven't really been buying games anymore on Steam just because there's so many that I can play on xCloud as part of that package. So at the moment, if I could only have one as of right now, it would be xCloud works really, really well for me currently in this setup, and the library is just pretty damn hard to argue with when it comes to value. So I hope that video has helped some of you out there. If you are on the fence about different platforms, you know what, let us know in the comments which one you like. Do you use multiple like we do? And if you had to choose just one, so if you are like me, somebody who uses multiple cloud gaming platforms, if you had to choose just one, which one would it be? Now I can hear some of you angrily typing right now going, yeah, but what about Amazon Luna or PS Now? Well, Luna's not available for us to play at the moment. It's only in beta, I believe, in the US. So once that does come across next year, Fingers crossed we'll be able to kind of throw that into the mix. And PS Now, it's not necessarily, in our opinion anyway, that much of a cloud gaming platform in the fact that I can play it on a tablet and a phone and everything else. I'd be locked down to just playing it on a PC. So until that starts to get rolled out, which apparently there are plans to do, that's not been thrown into the mix either. So I hope you've enjoyed that video. And if you have, hit the like and subscribe button. It really helps the channel to grow. And we'll be back in the future with some more cloud gaming content. Bye.